everybody, Carol here with just a quick video. Uh, welcome back to my channel, first of all. And I am working with leftover paints now. They've got multiple colors in them. I'll try to remember what they are, but I thought I'd make some ceramic tile coasters. But then I thought instead of doing one at a time, I'd put them together, do a ring pour, and then hopefully, when they're all dry and resined, they'll look like they fit together like a puzzle when I just wanna put it on the table for display. Can't use it as a hot plate now. You can't take a casserole out of the oven because I don't have that kind of resin. But to use as a coaster for tea or coffee, no problem. So I've got these all ready. They've been taped up on the back. I've got a piece of tape holding them down in the center so that when I spin it, they won't go flying off in every direction. I'm going to do a ring pour. I'll put this here so you can watch. And I'll try to remember the colors as I go. So this has got phthalo blue, brilliant blue, and metallic purple in it. And my medium is what I always do, which is two parts Elmer's glue all, one part water. So like a cup of glue all, half a cup of water, mix it up, let it sit overnight, get rid of the bubbles. And then before I put that in my paints, I put a splash. Of course, I'm using a little cup here. So I'm talking a splash, little splash, like quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon of Liquitex high gloss varnish and mix that in with the paint first. This is, I think the only thing that's straight magenta here, I believe. This is brilliant red, metallic red, magenta. I think that's it. This is uh, multiple golds. It's got some 24 karat gold. It's got some Craft Smart gold. It's got some Premier Gold, which used to be uh, when AC Moore was in business. I still had some of that. I mix my paints up pretty thick. I could stand my stick up in them. Okay, and this is metallic white mixed with a tiny bit of DecoArt satin enamel in true white. Then I'll put the last of the, the red mix I had here. So I hope everybody's doing well. If you're still quarantining and isolating like we are, I feel for you. Doing art really, really helps me. Maybe you could try to do something creative. Something like this isn't hard. Maybe give that a shot. I will list everything color-wise, medium, everything I use in the description below. And there'll also be info about Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc. Welcome back to my regular subscribers. I appreciate you supporting me on my journey. Let's see, what do I wanna do? 
I want to put this. I don't want to put the blue next to the gold because I don't really want a lot of green. And that's what will happen. And if you're new to my channel, I do acrylic pouring and I do resin art now. And oh, I might even get into some alcohol inks, a little bit of everything. And if you enjoy this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. It's free. And then click the bell so you'll get future notifications every time I upload a video. And that's the phthalo blue. Still got a little of that left. And I'll put the last of the white. This is more than I need because together these tiles all together is like an eight by eight because they're four by four tiles. So I only need a few ounces, three ounces or so, something like that. And this is a five ounce cup, so more than enough. I don't have to worry about putting any base coat down because it's definitely gonna cover. So, all right, let's do this. There's no silicone in any of these, by the way. that's not in the center good job let's go this way get him in the center okay let's give him a quick torch pop some bubbles I've been painting like crazy. Get you can see my hands are filthy. The gloves I have, I think I mentioned before, are gigantic. It's the only ones I could find. So I've been just saving them for resin work because the fingers are like twice as long as my fingers. So, <laughs> okay, here goes. That was weak. Let me go back this way just slightly. Keep that in the center. All right, here we go. Back the other way. Got a couple corners to cover. Come on, almost there. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> okay. okay, I think I can use my finger. There we go to touch that up. These very, very co far corners here. That's pretty cool. I'm really liking that. Wonder if I can pull these apart. Not 
to wreck it. All right, stuck that down good. <laughs> There we go. I just want them to be apart from each other so that they can cover all the sides. Then I'll put them on top of uh, cups to dry. Now, this guy got gypped of a lot of color, but that's okay. It'll look cool together. Stay tuned for the dried results coming up next. Okay, it's the next day and everything is dry, looking good. I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back again with more. Till next time, stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.